Welcome to the number one place for super busy and super tired moms, where I help you get the most done with the little time that you do have. In today's video, we are gonna learn how to determine which task you should do first. We have so many tasks we need to do, and oftentimes we lose a lot of time running in circles because we don't know which task we should do first. So I'm gonna teach you that in today's video. Before we jump into the meat and potatoes of this video, I'm gonna do something that I wanted to do for a very long time. And it's to publicly show my gratitude and appreciation for all of you that show love on any of my pages, Facebook, Instagram, or even right here on YouTube. It is time for a shout out. Peter, I see you. Thank you for giving me all of the great comments and showing the love hair on this page. The good comments and the bad, I appreciate all of them. Sprite Not Ice, I appreciate that comment. Thank you for showing love. If you would like to be featured, don't forget to leave a great comment below or screenshot this video and share it on your Instagram story. You can go ahead and tag me and I'll share it. After research from you and other moms, I found out that although we care deeply about our money, motivation, marriage, and motherhood, for some reason, we still never find enough time to enjoy any of those things. So, with this in mind, I am going to be giving you the latest, freshest, juiciest, trendiest, most applicable and effective tips to get things done in your home. But here's the secret. Most of us think that we need more time to get things done. But what we really need to learn is how to manage our time. And what we really, 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 really and truly need to learn is how to manage ourselves. Okay, enough of the talking. What I'm going to do now is turn my screen on so that you guys can see my screen. And together, we're going to learn how to decipher which task we can do first. So that we can stop wasting time running in circles trying to decide what we should do first or what we shouldn't do at all. What I'm going to teach you and expose you to is the Eisenhower model. The Eisenhower model can also be explained and read in Dr. Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Before we begin this presentation, I would love to carry out a small exercise with you. My cash app is Alex Sears1898 and my Zelle account is Alexandria. of us, if not all of us, are very reluctant to give up money unless we have a reason for it. Unless we find that something is valuable and we are willing to part with our money, we are less likely to give it up. We value our money. We hold it near and dear to our heart. But what if I asked you for your time? Many of us would give of our time before we give of our money in certain situations and circumstances because we simply value money over time. And what we don't realize is time is actually money. So once we learn how to use our time, most definitely and almost in all circumstances, we will learn how to manage our money and in turn get more money. Welcome to time management. Deciding what to do and when to do it. This is the Eisenhower matrix. I'm going to be teaching this to you in terms of quadrants. So I will refer to quadrants. These quadrants here are what we will be discussing today. And I'm gonna explain it, it's really simple, but I'm still going to explain it to you. The first quadrant is urgent and important. 
These are things that must be done now. These are things that cannot be delayed. These are things that need to be done now because the, if they're not done, there will be serious consequences for not doing these things right now. The second quadrant is important, but not urgent. These are things that must get done, but there's no specific deadline. And if there is a deadline, these things do not have to be done today, tomorrow. They can be done a little later on. The third quadrant, not important, but urgent. These things are not high on our priority list, but these things are very, 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 very urgent. We need to do it right now. In the last quadrant, I like to refer to this quadrant as the time waster. These are things that are not important and not urgent at all. And now we are going to go to explaining each quadrant and how it can help us determine what to do and when to do it. The first quadrant, urgent and important. These are things that we want to do but reduce. Things that are in the urgent and important column, we want to do those and reduce those. Why do we want to do those? We want to do those because failing to do those will cause us serious problems. Probably money, relationships, jobs, health. These are the things that we need to take care of like yesterday. And you may be asking, why do we want to reduce them? Why, if they're so important and they're so urgent, why on God's earth would I want to reduce doing these tasks? And I'll tell you why. We want to reduce doing these tasks because almost 50% of the tasks that are urgent in this quadrant here, they were not always urgent. Allow me to explain. I want you to think about the last thing that you did last minute. I want you to think about the last thing that you did on the fly. I want you to think about the last thing that you rushed to meet a deadline. And I want you to think about why. Why were you submitting whatever you had to submit like hours before the deadline? Why were you making that payment 7.59 Eastern Standard Time knowing that the deadline to make that payment was 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want you to think about why you waited to prepare dinner knowing that dinner should be prepared at 6 p.m. I want you to think about all the projects that you waited the last minute for until the very last second. And I want you to think about how much time you would have had if you had not waited for the last minute. Nine times out of 10, you probably would have had at least a week to do what you have had to do, but that's the problem. For situations beyond our control and within our control, we wait for the last minute to do a lot of things that can be done in advance. And this makes it urgent, but it was not always urgent and it did not have to be urgent. And this is why things in this column, you actually want to reduce. This is where the experts say that we should live. They actually said that we should live in this column. We should take care of things that are important, but not urgent. That's our health, our relationship with our family. That's our faith. That's our relationship with friends. That's our passion. That's things that we love to do. They are important, but they are not urgent. And that's why we should actually live in this quadrant. And because we live here, we want to schedule and plan these things. Scheduling and planning the things that are important to us will definitely help us to live here so that we don't have to be in the hustle and bustle of doing things on the fly and always needing to get in this quadrant. The next quadrant I would love to discuss with you is this quadrant, not important, but urgent. What should we do with those things? The things that are not important, but urgent, we should definitely delegate. And you may ask, why should I delegate this task if it's not important, but urgent? 
Tasks that are not important can be done by anyone. A friend, a family member, a coworker, a colleague, those tasks can definitely be done by anyone. So you don't wanna waste time in your day, in your week, in the month, in your schedule doing these tasks because they are not important. They should be done, but they're not important. So anyone can go ahead and do those. The last column here, not important, but not urgent. These are things that we should not be doing anyway. We should just eliminate them. We should definitely take those off of our schedule because these are things that we do not need to be doing in any event. So I hope that kind of makes sense for you and you understand what is happening with the whole quadrant. This is definitely how I determine what I should be doing and what I should not be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to the next screen so that I can explain and we can wrap up this end of the presentation. Our key takeaways. I have three key takeaways for you. Figuring out what's important and what's urgent is totally personal. What's important to me may not be important to you. What's urgent to you may not be urgent to me and vice versa. And this is why it's very personal. Along the lines of being personal, you have to make this quadrant and apply this quadrant to every area of your life because things that are important for you at home may not be important for you at work. So you can use this at home and at work just to help you to figure out what you should be doing and what you should not be doing and when you should be doing it. The second point I would like to bring to your attention is, it is important to note that what you actually decide to do will be based on your goals and your vision. And what do I mean by that? Well, this third step is gonna help us tie that all in. If you find yourself running in circles, I want you to stop and ask yourself, is what I am doing right now bringing me closer to my goals, the goals that you would have made in step two? How do these support my goals? And if they don't support your goals, then you know that you should not be doing it. And as you move along your day and you go throughout your task, I want you to ask yourself, is it important? Is it urgent? And try to decipher in your mind where those things fall in terms of the quadrant. This will help you stay on track, asking yourself, is it important? Is it urgent? And I want you to ask yourself, is it important and is it urgent? Remember, if it's not important and not urgent, you shouldn't be doing it at all. And I want you to ask yourself, is it not important but urgent? Well, then someone else can do that for you. Thank you so much for your time. I hope that you were able to gather at least one key takeaway from the presentation. And if you don't remember or hear anything else, I want you to remember to ask yourself one question. Is it urgent and is it important? Thank you. I hope by now you have realized that we can do so much more with our time and so much more in our lives if we just learn to tweak a few things. So I hope to see you in the very next video. I also want to see you on Facebook or Instagram. If you found this video helpful or useful, please go ahead and share it with a friend. Let me know down in the comment section. And of course, I want you to be bold. I want you to be great. And oh my dear, I need you to be beautiful.